Y'all have always left me satisfied. Go ahead, Troy, one more time. I have to have the last word. This is <laughs> it's, it's like it's, you it's the take thing. It from yeah. To, uh, he can edit it out. He'll edit you out all the way, 100%. And I'll tell Don't him to. He'll edit you all the way out. I will unplug. That should be the beginning I, of the show now. This part. <laughs> that might be what that might be where it is. <laughs> Come here! Let's go, give me a flapper! Alright. We're coming to you reported from Donk Yard House and um, Cafe. Gary's Coffee Shop, Beaumont, Texas, on Calder Avenue. The beer is cold but sparse. The and, kegs are erupting. And one of them looked like a Bloody Mary. <laughs> and, and Troy drank a drink that I can only describe as watery gravy, Bloody Mary, no ice. It was so go. very good. Very good. Okay. So we actually also have Walt here. There he is. The I see him right there. What's up? <laughs> I would play Hill to the Chief, but I don't have the rights. Hail to the Chief, because he's the Chief and he's hailing. No one watches that movie except me. And me. And you. Um, okay, so we did the Trick or Treat Bowl in October, which was appropriate. And we did the Turkey Bowl in November, which I guess uh, was last Sunday. So, Troy, what is your takeaway so far from the SETX FFL Bowl Championship Series? Uh, the Jack Boys are so far the best team in the tournaments. Right. And would you not agree that the Jack Boys are better now than they've ever been? Against this particular set of teams they're playing, yes. But they, to me, they play better together than they've played before. They, like they're, they, they used to get mad at each other a lot. Yeah, they're they're playing pretty, not, not carefree, but loose, and everybody gets involved. They're... You know, they're kind of they're down at the half at the championship game, and it was like they weren't arguing or anything. Like normally, when that would happen, you'd see them all fighting and arguing. They were as calm as could be, and were just kind of just ready to play in the second half and end up winning the game. So yeah, they're they are pretty good right now. They've got a good group of guys, and I, I there's just I don't think there's anybody that could beat them. You may beat them in a half. I just don't see anybody beat them in a full game yet. I just don't see it with the way that this is set up. Well, they got really a lot better when they added MB and AG. I mean, they, they really didn't need those two players to be a good flag football team. And now I think they're closer. They are playing better together. Um, but now they're just they're, they're, they're approaching that at elite level. Well, and, and the thing about Bronson and AG, you know, when you have guys, every team has good players. And then those good players eventually want to be on the best team, and they go to the best team. And well, that's BS because M MB and AG were with with the Showstoppers, and we I went undefeated, and we really could have made, we could have gave the Jack Boys with that group of guys. Yeah, we it could have been ultra competitive. It would have been back and forth between us and them every year. Uh, but but you know the Showstoppers don't travel. We're too too damn old to, to travel and play yeah. flag football so you know i get it and and they're probably you know from what i understand that they're going to houston and they're, they're playing a lot of tournaments yeah and, and so so i get that aspect of and, it and that's fine now if they will they stay on that team that's what i'm saying I, these people that have switched teams every year there are some guys that plays on a different team every year and that's one thing that drives me nuts i, I switched teams last season because my the herd wasn't playing. That's why I wanted because I wanted to keep playing. So I switched teams. The herd came back. I went back to the herd. But it's not like I, I switched back to the showstoppers or to another team. And you know until I found another place I like. I, to me, that I know it's you want to play on a team that wins. But I also, I, I like that where every team is. You know who is on every team. Like oh that guy's playing on this team. This Blanton's on this team this year. Or you know Ag's on this team this year. It's you know, I, 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 that's not me. I mean, I know that's how it is nowadays. Where we, I want to, I want to play with my guys. I want to play on a winner or whatever. 
it's just not me, but I've just comes from a guy that has lost every game for the last ten years, apparently. So, but okay, so but with the Jack Boys, you have a group of core personnel. So you have Tory and Lot. Yeah. Getting you back have, to the normal question you had. Well, yeah. I'm just saying yeah. you have Tory and Lot, uh, Mouse, you know, Waylon Johnson, um, Labrie, and uh, Jacoby. Um, what's his last name? Low Jacoby Low. Okay. Those people are really, really good yeah. flag football players. Um, Seth Forkman shows up sometimes and does a role. Um, they have like seven people that are very consistent, like Lotto. Yeah. They're consistently there and do play and make their team like really, really good. It's, it's kind of neat, honestly, to me because I'm like, that's what you do. Like you have yeah. your four or five or six guys that make your team and then you pick up people as you go. They drop off like AG and uh, Bronson. They'll go play somewhere else. I have no doubt that they'll go somewhere else. Yeah. But Labrie and Torian Lott and Jacoby and Mouse and all those guys, they're going to play on the same team for a yeah. long time, and, for like five more years. Yeah. And they'll be really good. And and what what makes me – what pisses me off the most is that we'll be watching them play and they'll have somebody on the sideline because – that's Hello, not AJ. that's not yeah, AJ, yeah, they'll have somebody standing on the sideline and you're like you would be playing every single down on my team. You're the best player right now and you're standing on the sideline. Like it's frustrating like they got so many good guys and like look who's standing on the sideline. You're not even playing and you would score every time if you were on my team. Like it's like come on, I hate that because they're so good. Not that I, I don't not that I hate the team. I just hate that They've got so many good guys that their best the best player on the field is standing on the sideline. Like, oh, so let me God. ask you this: If, like, I think in my head, I think I know who it is, but if there's one person you take away from the Jack Boys where you go, they're not the Jack Boys anymore, or they're not going to be as dominant. If 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 one person left that team, in your mind, who's that one person that if they left, you'd be like, that might be the end of the Jack Boys as we know it as a dominant flag football team. I would say Labrie. That's what I would say, or or uh, or TT. See, I say TT. Yeah, one of those two. Yeah. Um, I I love Labrie. He's a great athlete. Um, it is so hard to find a good quarterback, and Labrie's a great quarterback. I don't know what's happened over the last like five or six years. Dude's awesome. Yeah. Like, he's really awesome, but like underrated to me. Like people don't understand how good he is at yeah. that position. Um. Like, he uh, just he can throw the ball a long way. He can run real well. And Labrie is probably the best flag football player in the league for, I don't know what, the whole time the league's been a thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, okay. So, he can pair with Boosie. They're, they're on the same level. But I would even say Labrie sometimes is better than Boosie at certain things just because he's longer. Oh, he can throw the ball. Um, and yeah. He's just – <laughs> so you can say your best center, <laughs> but, but that's what it would be one or him. Like with TD, what he can do is he's such a good quarterback. He's so evasive in the pocket. He hardly ever gets sacked. He makes every throw he can make. As there's not a throw he can't really make. So I, I mean, and then he's a hell of a flag puller on defense too. So I mean, it's yeah, one, right. I think that makes those, one of those two guys leaving the team would make would make a difference. Okay, so next topic. Let's talk about um, the other teams that have played in this thing. Like, it's kind of boring to talk about the herd or I don't know the squad. Cause it's kind of the same guys, you know. Although the squad did get a signature win, they did beat the showstoppers. Against the showstoppers, the squad beat, and they would have played the showstoppers again in the next round, but they well, they'd uh, already been there, done that. So they yeah, just so they, just, they just decided to quit. <laughs> they just that was kind of weird. Do you have any comments on you want, you want commentary on that? Go ahead. Oh yeah, I have I have a couple comments on how they won won that game. Well, uh, th- first of all, they they won two games in a tournament. I don't know if they've ever won two games in a season before, so that was amazing. And then they just left, didn't even tell anybody. They just let, didn't even come up and say, "Hey, we're not playing." They just left. You know what? You know what I think it is. I, I don't I don't think they wanted to face the showstoppers on Sunday when we actually had our people there. Well, they didn't have all they, the mad. They did uh, the crap talking that they did. They didn't have and, Bo- and, and, they didn't have Bowen and Tipman at corner. That's why. Ooh, and listen, that's why. There's 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 a lot of guys on that team that I like. There's a lot of guys on that team that I that I think are really cool people. I'm good right now. Thank you. But how how many times have the Showstoppers beaten the brakes off the squad? And we every and time win with class. 
Well, re- well, let's not go that far. Oh, come mm. on now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not a team of <laughs> Tory Maddox. Jacob Dillon sent letters in the mail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dills will send you. Yeah. Talk in the mail. Yeah. Does he like the, Does he run the HOA? He's like he would run the HOA. Yeah, he does run the HOA. Actually, <laughs> 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 he sends out sternly worded letters. Uh, but no, nah, man. Uh, there was a couple guys on that team that that really got into some heavy shit talking. So I, you know, and it's like I told my team, you know, what goes around comes around. You know, we got four players there on Saturday, five, however many that showed up. You know, a, a quarter of our t- of our twenty people on our group me account. Um, all I was gonna say is that there will be no mercy given to them the next time we we play them. <laughs> well, thanks, Macho Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, before we get to the next what, little topic, with the squad, Robert Hawkins could be a, would be a great receiver on every team in the league. David Dixon is one of the best athletes in the league. 100%. They've got some good talent on that team, and they're starting to put it together. They really are. They're really putting it together. That could be a team that they've been in the league since it started, and they have been at the bottom of the standings every year. They're finally – they've got something. This was better. They've got something. This was better, right? Yeah. I mean, they've so got something. Who's the skinny guy who played corner who picked my pitch off? What's that guy's name? I don't remember who it was. It, he's. I mean, we'll have to watch a, the film. They got a. They got a lot of good. Oh, athletes. We didn't film that one. They so. got a got lot of good athletes. David Dixon's one of them. That guy's one of them. He's a good flag football player. If they could get a good quarterback, they need a quarterback. They need they a, get a good they quarterback, need a quarterback, and quarterback and let David Dixon be a, be a man child out there on, on the corner. The yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, they, they would be a team to be to be. Or if he just takes a snap and runs every oh, time. He figured that out when it's just me <laughs> rushing him. I'm like, and he just took off running. I'm like, that's what you need to do every play. Yeah. Okay, well, um, before we get to our next topic, uh, we actually have breaking news. There's a new flag, a new hot flag football league in town called the SETX Treem Flag Football League, and we have our reporter. He's not on the ground, but he's at a computer. It's, uh, there's our our news animation or our news music's going, and it's a uh, okay. We're here with Rick Hard Drive Harding. He's our technology and. Uh, and uh, internet reporter Rick, what you got for us on this new uh, flag football league? Well, uh, see, they're they're first using uh, what what I would call advanced technology to use their uh, web address. It's it's actually setxflagfootball.webs.com. This this essentially allows the user to have a a website, if you will, web pages that can be accessed all over the globe for free. And the only thing you have to do is to have webs in there. It's it's brilliant, frankly. Also, the the layout is um it's it's interesting. There's a uh, there's a lightning bolt or electrograph at the top of the uh, the the pictures there, and, and the menu is it's not easy to read. But this website is made for people who are advanced in technology and who really understand things. They have left off letters and words, which I figure to mean. That uh, they, it's a signal. You know, you use you use signals in in the web, and um, they're attempting to signal other flag footballers from across the globe to play in this league. Uh, surely, it's not a typo or misspelling. It's it's a signal, and um, frankly, I'm just very impressed. Even with the members, you see, Troy, the members, the members of this have incredible names like Mike D and Troy Fee and there's even a, a man named Ostrich 411 comments constantly about the nearly flightless bird party and uh, another person named the titty man and the titty man is is just on a rampage against Ostrich 411 it's fascinating frankly so so what you're saying is, is a lot of a lot of uh, user interface is it user friendly it's actually anti-friendly it's it's a uh, anti-social it's it is the anti-social website anti-social network and, and their social media is also anti-social because as a business they don't have a business page but but on Facebook they are a, a human person a, a person with friends uh, it's it's uncanny really I've never seen anything like this well thank you for that report mr. Harding hard drive Harding on the report all right Rick hard drive Harding uh, back to you Cody Thanks, Rick. That was great. So anyway, um, now, okay. So what about the fact that 409 Takeover, is that the name of that team? Take Takeover. Take, 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 take Over, take, but 409 take was four, in the thing, right? Take Four. 
But that was over nine. Take four over nine. Okay, but that was the in the words. So they like did pretty well in the first tournament, didn't play in this one. Lost in the championship and then did not participate in the second one. So do you think they'll play in the next one? Uh, well, I think they're playing in that uh, breaking news league. We just I think the they're breaking playing in, news league. I think the, we're, the uh, SETX Tream Tream, yeah, the Tream, Tream league. league. Okay, Tream, I think they're playing in that one. So. So, well, I mean, so I don't know if they're going to be available for our tournament. Yeah. Um, well, the actually, Jingle Bell Ball. Jingle, the Bell, Jingle Bell Bowl. Bowl. There you go. Um, well, sorry, I had to interrupt again. We have uh, more breaking news from the SETX Stream Flag Football League. Our, our reporter, Chad, is uh, he's our fashion reporter, and he's just got, uh, I guess, the latest uh, news on their the uniforms they're going to wear. Chad, are you there? This is Chad, and it seems as though the most uniforms in this league, they, they all wear different little shirts. Some of the shirts they tuck, and some they don't. It's very, it's very nice. Some of the more muscly men wear um, what I call muscle shirts or spaghetti straps even, and there's even a shirtless man there. It's, the fashion is something. Uh, you know, I... In the awards, oh my god, the awards. They're made of plastic, and they are very generic, so anyone could win. You could steal an award, and everyone would know that, that you won something, but you didn't. It's, it's very nice. Well, Chad. Yes, this is Chad. Who are you wearing for this uh, interview here? Who am I wearing? Oh, the gentleman never asks, and an LJ never tells. This is Chad reporting live from someone's bedroom. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate the uh, the info there. He's a good reporter. Good, solid hey, guy. He gets, he gets deep. I mean, hard reporting. Very hard reporting from Chad. Hard, deep reporting. What a man. <clears throat> but anyway, so back to uh, normal stuff. Um, now, you also had them boys who do we think... Do we think them boys were an aberration that they got so far in the tournament this time? Do you think they'll play in another tournament too? Because I think they've played they've in played, two they've now, right? They played in two. I think they're a, they're a solid team. They they beat the the a new team, the Suicide Boys, in the first round pretty easily. Uh, then they got beat by the squad. Actually, the squad beat them right. in the second round, and then they beat the herd. Uh, another close game, beat the herd there, and then lost to the Showstoppers. So went two and two in the tournament. That's a good showing. Uh, and they need a what? Quarterback. They need they a quarterback. quarterback. They've got some good athletes. Those guys, have, they're there's some fast. They do on need team. a quarterback. They're not. Uh, th- that's. I mean, every that's the th- that's the main concern with every team is having a good quarterback. So, but they're getting better. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I have to, I have to interrupt. Um, we have more, even more breaking news from the SETX train. Like football league, it's our our guy in the uh, the offices of e- SETX Tream Flag Football. He's he's been in contact with a lot of the transition people. This is uh this is Bill Balswit. Bill, what you got for us on on the political front? Well, let me tell you here. This appears to be a complete dictatorship or fiefdom, if you will. There's a madman running this conglomerate of flag football teams here. He is in control of everything down here. Now, Bill, does he rule by fear or by promises? He rules by yelling at everybody. Yells all of the time about everything. If you come to say hello and shake his hand, he will yell at you wondering why you're going to shake his hand. What a wild scene it is. This man is running crazy at the Beaumont Complex. It sounds like a Sam Kinison type of uh, show there. Is that, is that what's going on? I wish I could say that, but Sam Kinison was delightful. This man is incorrigible. <laughs> Do they have elections, or is it just one person? There is one man who is in charge of everything. He takes the money. He runs everything. And I'll tell you what, he will tell you how to do everything. 
Okay, so it sounds like a socialist dictatorship, um, totalitarian type thing. A little bit like North Korea, right? Almost exactly. Everything he does is the best of all time, and his followers believe he's the best. Not many followers, I will tell you. But he does have these teams coming to play in his flag football league. Well, Bill, that sounds like a, a hellish sort of squalor situation. I appreciate you going and being on the ground for us. Um, please be safe at the embassy. Bill Ballswit, signing off. All right, thanks. That's a, that's a pro report right there, that guy. He's been with us for years. It's okay. Now, the Jingle Bell Bowl. Let's talk about the Jingle Bell Bowl. When is the Jingle Bell Bowl going to be? December 19th and 20th. Is that right? Okay. December 19th and 20th, we'll have the Jingle Bell Bowl. Um, we're going to do $100 per team again. Um, so, if you guys haven't heard the, uh, the, the BCS thing we're doing, the, the Bowl Championship Series with the flag football. So, you have the Trick or Treat Bowl, the Turkey Bowl, and then the Jingle Bell Bowl. Depending on how well you do in those uh, tournaments, you get an invite to the Winter Bowl. And that's, only, that's invitation only. It'll be free to the teams that play because, like I said, they're in, invited. So you can check our website out to see how well everybody's doing on that. And it's uh, setxffl.com. Anything on that, Troy? Uh, on that, our, that, our, that front? No, I think that's I, – I, you will find the standings there for uh, placing into the Winter Classic. So everything looks fine. I like the pumpkins and the turkeys or the jack-o'-lanterns and the turkeys. yes. Jack O'Lanterns. Okay, sorry, I'm getting I'm getting late breaking news from our business supporter Tom Poonluck. Um, he's a great guy. He's on. He's um, at the uh, the offices of the SETX Trim Flag Football League. So, so webs. Tom, com. Tom, go ahead for us. Uh, what do you have from the the business sector? Uh, hello, this is Tom Poonluck, and I. Uh, they have such a creative business model. I have worked in many a call center, and I have never seen anything quite as ornate as what is happening in the, the flag football atmosphere. It seems as though they have a, a very creative business model with almost no overhead and no rental fees. That's right. When they play the football on the pitch, or as you Americans would say, the field, I play cricket mostly, but that's okay. It, you, they, they don't pay it a dime. They go out and they just lace up their clits and they throw the football and they, they play the football. They, they pay no one. It's, it's, like, it's like running a cellular phone company and burning the towers. It's, it is the, it's brilliant, right? Really. They accept only cash, no rupees. Not one rupee will be accepted for payment. And they, all the money, it appears to go to one leader, one leader of an organization. Simply, you will make more money running business this way than anywhere else. Tom Poonluck reporting. Thank you, Tom, for that uh, report from the business section. Fantastic reporting. I did have a question. I wish I could have got to him because he did speak about. I can, I can get him back. Well, 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 because well, uh, I was, you because know, he was talking about just taking cash. Only I wonder if there was a cash app that they no, take there. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know there would be questions. The cash app will not be available for the SETX Dream Football Webs. It seems as though they will only take hard currency and paper money. Well, I appreciate it. That's, that's much needed information. Thank you very much, Tom. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful evening. Same to you, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he did bit, sound a little bit like Miss Delphi. You had a little bit of Bo Onion Titman in you, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can only do so much. Okay. That was good. That was better than the original. That was good. All right. You said rupees, and I, lo I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> so, back, back to back to other stuff. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's talk about the spring league. We're going to do a spring league, right? Is that our plans? Yes. Okay, so we plan to do a spring league after um, we do the winter bowl, which will be, what, in like January, February? 
No, the, the, the Winter bowl. bowl will be in January. Yeah, I think. After the Super Bowl, if the Super Bowl is played. Yeah, I think. Uh, okay, so Winter Bowl, January, that will be the BCS thing. I think we're going to do like a championship belt for that, make it kind of nice. And then the Spring League will start in February. Hopefully, pandemic stuff will be winding down and we can have like a real normal league. And that would be pretty cool. Um, sorry, last time. Um, well, probably. One more breaking news for now. It's, it's our reporter um, who's probably the most close to the situation. It's Chet the Stetskin Skinner, famous for his hats, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I, f- yeah. I see his hat right now. Look at him. And, uh, well, Chet, what you got there uh, on their how their games and stuff are actually going? Well, howdy, y'all. This is Chet Skinner. In case they didn't already tell you my name. Well, you're going to have a problem with one of these teams because it seems that it's one little fella. He's a 4 9 boy. Just one guy out there playing and throwing a football and catching it for himself. I don't even see how he stepped it to him. Must be real quick, I guess, because the 4 9 boy, uh, he won his first game. I guess that other team wasn't too real good, you know. <laughs> Then you got the Suicide Boys, which, if you read it right on the sheet, it's actually the dollar sign, suicide boy, dollar sign. And this team here, I tell you, I watched them in the, in the turkey bowl on that other league. They had a little fella running for a touchdown. He was going to get there, and then some old asshole in a pair of socks done stopped him. It was almost like they were going to let him score some guy came jiggling his old titties at him and grabbed his, grabbed his flag. You're kind of bullshit, really, honestly. Then you got Ghost. <laughs> Don't know how they catch a football, I mean. Yes, you got to be kind of religious to kind of know that's a team. And, and there's a team part of this, a team exclusive, spelled with an X. They... They wear red mostly, and I don't know. Got some kind of some kind of thing about them makes them pretty uh, particular since they're exclusive. Then you got Team Hurricanes, which seems a little redundant to an old cowboy like me, because it's a team, but it's multiple hurricanes. And the hurricanes, I mean, what is a group of hurricanes? I mean, Troy, what, what's a group of midgets? A fuck of midgets. Right. So everybody knows that. What's a group of hurricanes? Like a pack? A team of hurricanes? That don't really sound right. It, sound, it seems like they're going to fall apart, you know, faster than a, than a badger trying to fit through a cat door. Now, the last a thing. A squall. A squall of hurricanes. Now, that would make more sense than a team because I ain't never seen weather systems work in a coordinated fashion together with one another to win a football game. I've been around forever. I'm Chet Stetskin Skinner. <laughs> and then the finally, the other team you got is the expendable. Now, them boys don't even got a chance since their team names misspelled throughout the schedule. Whoever made that thing didn't even take the time to to put the D in expendables. They're expendable. And, uh, well, I, I looked at the schedule for the first week. Some of them are highlighted in red, and some of them ain't highlighted in red, so I can't, I don't know who won anything. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, it seems competitive if the right people show up and don't play for a team. I feel like Team Ghost, you can just see right through them. They, yeah, they, they show you everything before it happens, and you can't even feel them. They can come inside you. <laughs> All right, well, this is Chet Stetskin Skinner signing off. Thank you, Chet, for that sports update. That was pretty good. One of our best reporters. God really knows his stuff. He's, he cares about his appearance, I'll tell you that. That hat of his. I don't think that hat comes off. It doesn't. It's sewn on. (laughs) To his wig. (laughs) To his wig. (laughs) Which is glued onto his head. Uh, (laughs) All right. So any... Anything else that we have going in our league? I have no permanent? idea anymore. <laughs> I don't know. We've, okay. we've spent a lot of time on someone else's league here. We didn't do any reporting on ours. 
we don't have reporters on the ground on ours because ours is a real thing. Oh, <laughs> Walt, did you have anything else? Uh, yeah. We had a turkey. We had a 22-pound turkey. Oh, that's a dress. Yeah, let me yeah. do it. Can Troy do Hell to the Chief again? That was great. Hell to the Chief, because he's the Chief and he needs hailing. Yes. Hell to the Chief, or I'm going to tell you bastards. <laughs> I can't remember the other one now. Well, so we contrary watch your to you believe, uh, a lot of people ask me, we will be doing a spring league. Like I said, that probably we're going to try for the week after Super Bowl. You know, as long as there's no lockdowns. One more tournament open to everybody, which is... Jingle Bell Bowl. <laughs> that's that's a mouthful. Uh, Jingle Bell Bowl. Yeah, that's what <laughs> she said. Uh, and then hopefully everything gets to normal in 2021. That's that's our hope. Yeah, I agree. That'll so be our slogan: the, the, SETXFFL 2021. I hate to do this That'll one more time, but we have one more little breaking news thing, and it's the weather. And for the weather, we have Stormy Daniels. Go ahead. Sounds like it's going to be hot and wet, Stormy. Thank you, Stormy. That was great reporting. All right, well, um, I hope you guys liked our new news team we picked up. Um, total professionals. This, we pay them because of all the money we've made for the league. Yes, we, we pay them with the, the dozens of compliments we've gotten, <laughs> or the one. By the way, Vontae, you're the best player that's ever played. You are the MVP <laughs> of the Turkey Bowl not only, not only because of you playing on the championship team, but because you received the turkey for the yes. trophy, which makes you the MVP. And Aaron Ward, you're a wonderful man, and we appreciated all your help with the tournaments. Um, we really appreciate you guys for playing. We have a good time. We hope you have a good time. Um, and it's all for fun. So if feelings get hurt, nobody meant it. Just take it in stride. Yes, don't take anything I say seriously, because I say a lot of stuff. Yes. Because Troy's a dickhead. Because yes. Troy's a dickhead. I am, and if you don't know that, then you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think I'm done. Are you done? I'm done. All right, well, have a great day, and Troy, good luck. <laughs>